So next up, we have Cramorant. We got the bird thing that the game Game Freak really wants you to start using Surf more instead That's of Scald, amazing. but we're not going to. Um, yeah. yeah, new water flying, it only gets gulp missile, and that's the thing where if you use surf or dive, then you like come up with a fish in your mouth, and if you get hit after it, you like spit the fish at them. Apparently, Stack was just telling me you can also have a Pikachu in your mouth. And it's a, it's a guaranteed paralyze if, uh, if they get hit by the Pikachu as well, which is actually really funny. That's if you so guys funny. Haven't seen, if you guys haven't seen the image of, of Pikachu in this thing's mouth, it's, it's hilarious. So we're gonna. It is not hilarious, it's actually so, very <laughs> sad. <laughs> it's, it's really funny. Um, this Pokemon, though, we don't know how much Gold Missile does. Uh, if yeah. it's a static, like, 25% or if it's, like, a static percentage, like, that would be really good. That could definitely um, be Or maybe, good, yeah. yeah, if it's based on how much damage they do to you, too. But judging by this Pokemon's bulk, it's it's not taking a hit. Like, I don't understand why they give, like, an ability like this that requires kind of not so good of a move to set up the ability. Yeah. And then and not give really it bulk. Yeah, and also if Gulp Missile doesn't go off before you faint, like this is going to be just a it's really bad. Worthless. Yeah, it gets yeah. an interesting move pool. It has the same attack and special attacks, so it could be special or physical. It could run Surf slash Hydro Pump slash Scald, or it could run like a Liquidation. I don't know if you'd even use Dive over Liquidation, to be honest. Yeah, but, um, it gets Ice Beam, which is always nice on water types. It gets Hurricane and Air Slash, or it could run Brave Bird if it's um, physical. And it gets Superpower, which is really weird. They like giving birds Superpower, yeah, and I don't know why. Birds. So strange. Um, this thing, it's just like, I don't know, why would you not use Swanna? Why would you, also, why would you just, why would you use Swanna? <laughs> okay, so, my, my point stands, why would you use this Pokemon? Why would you this, or Swanna? <laughs> Dude, I'll just use Gyarados, what? <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah, exactly, why not? But this thing is well, a defogger, which is cool, I guess. Swanna is faster and is two mm -hmm. points stronger uh, in both offenses. But well, it can't but... spit Pikachus at you, and that's, that's a big deal. It's true, oh, dude. It can't spit yeah. Pikachus at you, so... Right, well, I mean... Yeah, that's... Primarant, cool. nothing too, nothing too nothing I guess, amazing. It, it's funny, though. It's a really funny Pokemon. Just yeah. looking at it, like, it, oh, it's he hilarious. Oh, he looks... He's such a handsome boy. <laughs> yeah, he's great. He gets uh, he gets weather ball also. That's true. He does get weather ball. I don't know For some reason. why that's helpful. I mean, I guess if and... he's in the sun, he can hit Ferrothorn. Everything just comes down to how's it hit Ferrothorn, <laughs> man. That's all I care about this gen. Can he hit Ferrothorn? Yes. Cool. He's OU. Right. No, he is not OU. All right. Let's... Sun boosted weather ball, right? And then uh, it's gonna take Ferrothorn down to to eight uh, to twenty percent, and then it gets killed by Gulp Missile, bro. Easy. But you have to use dive for or surf for attack. <laughs> Alright, that's Cramorant, right, guys. It, wait, no, 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 you're onto something here. You surf on in the sun, obviously, on the switch to right. Ferrothorn, and then you uh, weather ball it, and then you spit out your Pikachu at him. Easy, so when right. you get power... <laughs> exactly, yeah. So this is the go-to Ferrothorn counter for Gen 8. I'm very excited yes. for that. No, no power word. <laughs> Alright, let's just move on to the next Pokemon. Alright, so next up we have Barrascuda. This thing... Oh, I, let me change this real quick so it looks better this thing um is gonna be super good this thing has amazing stats it's so fast even without the rain up it's base 136 yeah. and uh just looking at it like you like this thing is just a menace looking at it mm -hmm. and then you see its offenses and you're like 123 attack 136 speed what like, yeah this fish is crazy and it like I don't um, I don't think this gets any signature moves and for some reason the doc the paceman didn't show any egg moves so if it gets egg moves I don't know what they are but I don't have any but uh, this thing yeah, it true. has psychic fangs to hit Toxapex which is very important um, liquidation yeah, in the rain yeah. from this thing is gonna hit like a fucking truck um, it can set its own rain dance does this thing get swords dance I don't remember let me check uh, I don't think no, it does. I was just looking for that it does not get swords dance, get unfortunately swords. Um, um, but it does get Jab, which you don't have on there also. Oh, um, it also gets close combat, which is pretty Yeah, cool. okay, so why does this fish get close combat? They gave close and combat Weavile to like a lot does... of Wait, I thought Weavile, Weavile get doesn't close get close combat. Get no, it wow, didn't. Wow, crazy. <laughs> um, but no, this thing's going to be like super good. I know we're kind of making fun of it right now, but like that is not... Those are not stats to sleep on when you're like that fast and rain is going to be very important in this game yeah. um i mean i think you can absolutely run adamant if this is a rain thing right oh there's so, no no question about it so you can run adamant right <laughs> off the rip you're around 380 attack right and now you have rain boosted liquidations coming off and like and aqua jet too and aqua jet too yeah i don't know i mean i guess to just out prioritize other priorities this is case. yeah 
um, then, close um, combat psychic fangs are really really good to have to hit Pharaoh and Pex respectively. And that's actually too. amazing. And this thing's this thing's yeah. going to be really yeah. good at countering Excavator as well. Yeah, you can just Aqua Jet it. Like you also like this doesn't even need to be um, uh, range. Like you can just throw a Choice Band on it and like click the right yeah. button. You know, like that's or still even really like good. a. This Pokemon's fast enough that it's actually going to be able to use laser fists also. So oh, true. something that would normally come in, something that would normally come in and kind of wall it, you can just laser focus on the turn that you think they're going to switch, and then you get a, you get an Oko afterwards because it's a guaranteed crit. Um, yeah, and so I, it's kind of like a, a niche. Yeah, it, you don't usually see laser focus, but that's because the Pokemon that got it last generation all were not fast. Yeah, the only one that comes to mind is um, Kartana, but like the main yeah. switchings to Kartana were like. Zapdos, which didn't really care if it got crit, and Tornadus, which was also just faster. So it didn't really get the opportunity right. to use laser focus anyways. Exactly. So I don't see it happening very often, but it's, it's just one of those things that yeah. it can do for sure. It can definitely be a really um, fun set. There's like Early on, there's going to be so many like just fun, like cool ideas going around before people just start going with what appears to be standard. Um, so I'm really yeah, looking for forward sure. to that, and I can definitely see like laser focus being a pretty fun thing to use. I am uh, a bit disappointed in Propeller Tail, though. Just like, because um, yeah. there's already like the other, uh, what's that? Duraludon gets that ability too? Yeah, Stalwart. It's just called something else. Stalwart. Stalwart. Yeah, ignores redirection. So it's like, they could have been something cooler, like the name Propeller Tail just tells me something else, not that ability specifically, but yeah. I mean, Switch Time is good enough, like, I shouldn't say good enough, it's great for this yeah. one. In v uh, it just gives another option in VGC, I guess. This thing yeah. does not get Rock Slide, this would have been a cool Rock Slider. Um, in VGC. It gets close combat. It gets close combat though, which is... So, yeah, no, literally, like, close combat for Pharaoh and Psychic Fangs for Toxpex, that's like, that's fantastic. Yeah. They then, can run like... like stab Water for Excadrill, like, that's, that's mm -hmm. incredible. Poison Jab for the this Grass This thing is actually... Is. Oh, it's a, it's a T-Tar counter too, like, this thing destroys T-Tar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. CC or Liquidation. Oh. Yeah, no, I, this thing is going to be a good This Pokemon. thing with, with, like, this thing will be way faster than T-Tart plus one also, like, for free. Yeah. It might even be fast. Yeah, I wonder, yeah. Actually, I wonder if it's faster than T-Tart plus two. Uh, maybe out of it? Maybe not. No, 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 not even close. <laughs> But plus one, definitely. Like, yeah, yeah Adamant, like Adamant is faster than a Jolly plus one T-Tar, so that's awesome. This Pokemon is going to be yeah, really, true. really, really good for sure. Let's move on to the next one. All right, so next up we have Tox... Uh, blah, 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 blah. We have Toxtricity. This thing looks super Toxtricity. cool. Toxtricity. Yeah, it's, it's uh, honestly Toxtricity probably the coolest of our city. <laughs> uh, But yeah, this oh, thing God. looks really cool, and Punk Rock is a super cool ability. Yeah, uh, if you guys don't know, Punk Rock basically gives it a boost to its sound-based moves, and it weakens sound-based moves, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah, it weakens sound-based moves against it, and strengthens its sound-based moves against others. Yeah, um, so that's cool. And Overdrive, it's a new signature move. That, that's an electric move, right? Do you know what the base power is on that? Yes, it is. Uh, I, I believe it's 80, but it also gets that boost. But it gets the uh, boost, okay. So it'll definitely use Overdrive uh, over, like, Thunderbolt. Also, it is a sound-based move for sub. So it goes through sub, um, that's true. That is really cool. Yeah. The In case you guys don't know, there's two different forms. There is low-key and there's amped up. One of them gets shift gear, and then the other one gets magnetic flux. I don't know which one is which. Uh, <laughs> but we the were just shift gear one is better. Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> Shift Gear is definitely better, but on this Pokemon specifically, it's got 90. Wait, it's got 98 base attack. Yeah, it's not terrible, and it's got a decent um, physical move pool also. Physical. It gets yeah. Drain Punch, um, Fire Punch for Ferrothorn, Gunk Shot slash Poison Jab. It gets um, Wild Charge. It gets Power Up Punch. Yes. So it has like decent it's definitely um, got, physical ooh, moves. Technician Power Up Punch is pretty cool actually. Yeah, yeah. Oh uh, yeah, Technician is other ability. Doesn't it doesn't get the Technician boost for like that much, but like. Power up punch is stronger, and like I guess Nuzzle's a little stronger, but that's not really what you're using Nuzzle for. Um, Snarl well, is a little stronger for, uh, too, which could be cool in VGC. Yeah, for sure. Uh, this Pokemon's cool because it's only 75 base speed, but it does get Nuzzle, and Nuzzle is like Glare um, in that yeah. you can use it just as a utility move. Um, you're not doing damage with Nuzzle, obviously, but yeah. you know, on a switch for a Pokemon that's usually a check to this, you can Nuzzle it and then threaten it with something else. Um, its ability also boosts Boom Burst too. That's, and boom Burst might not be stabbed, but it's really strong. That's exactly. That's actually what I was just about to bring up. Like, it may as well be stabbed at that point. It's already 140 freaking base power. Like, I could see yeah, this no, thing's like Boom Burst hitting harder than um, Swellow's Boom Burst. 
Yeah, absolutely. Like, that's crazy. Uh, just because it's got 114 base special attack, it's like this. This Pokemon's gonna yeah, be solid for sure. Mm -hmm. That speed stat, that speed stat is definitely gonna hold it back. You know, it's gonna crumble to any ground type move it gets even close to. Um, and it doesn't have a way to really check ground types, and it unfortunately does not have a fire type move. It gets fire punch. No, it does not have a fire type move. It doesn't have a real. Hey, if you're running shift gear though, you're running fire punch. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. But no, this thing will be um, cool. It might be just relegated to you, you because it's gonna have a tough time against yeah, pecs. But like, it, it also gets volt switch, fun. so you can like kind of yeah, just kind of volt switch around to weaken the pecs, and then eventually get low enough that um that like an overdrive can take it out or something else kills it, just, it, and, it then, like the and then and then this can go. Away. Like you know what I mean? Like I don't know, like a like a fire breather kind of guy you know he's like mm -hmm. punk saying it seems like a punk thing to do breathe fire you, you know just, what i mean like i'm surprised why can't this have flamethrower <laughs> yeah i know it should have flamethrower that's all i'm saying <laughs> it should have um, a fire-based sound move. it should have fire voice <laughs> oh my god that'd be just yo it should have like a, a mixtape it should have a move called mixtape Ooh. and then it's a fire type move <laughs> oh my god mixtape is fire <laughs> yeah. oh that's godlike all right that's really yeah. funny i like that all right that's good they so have uh, oh, there's one other thing I was gonna say. Um, fuck, what was it? I, oh, so shift gear, shift gear on this. The thing I could see it being useful for is kind of similar how Magirna uses shift gear. It doesn't really use the attack boost, but like with the plus two speed, it just can sweep shit. Oh, like I could see true. Toxtricity um, taking advantage of shift gear because it doesn't get it doesn't get agility, oh, cool. but like it, like you can just think of this as agility, right? Like this is just agility, and it's it's good. Yeah, it's basically just agility. The uh, other thing that it gets I don't see on here is it also gets Hex. Um, Nuzzle Hex is good. That's, oh, it gets Hex. Uh, I didn't even know Actually, a pretty cool move. I yeah, I didn't know this either it. until just now. It gets Venoshock um, also. I should have put Venoshock on because it gets Toxic. By the way, one of the few Pokemon that get Toxic now that Toxic's not a TM anymore. Yeah. It also doesn't get um, T-Spikes. Why does this not get T-Spikes? It's such a good T-Spikes user. It would be a good T-Spikes um, yeah. The, it, it also has Taunt. Um, yeah. Taunt is just good to have on anything yeah, yeah. in help, general. Help, help deal with walls and stuff. Don't let him heal up on you yeah. for free, stuff like that. Yeah, I like that. I think this is going to be a fantastic Pokemon. I could see OU or UU for sure. I was just going to say, I think it has it can have a cool niche in uh, VGC as well, which is cool. It, get, it gets a nice support move, move pool for that also. I think they definitely saw it, and they were, someone at Game Freak really liked this Pokemon, and they were like, yeah, we're going to make this work. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah. Also, Electric Poison's a cool typing. Yeah, it's, it's a dope typing. We haven't gotten that before. Even and, like... Um, it, it gets Acid Spray, too, it looks like. Yeah. Which is neat. Not too shabby. Uh, acid spray, you know, drop minus two spadef. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It seems like a pretty neat Pokemon. But yeah, guys, that is Toxicity right there. We're going to probably move on to the next one, I think. Yes, let's do that. All right, so next up yeah, we have sure. we have Scorch. next up. <clears throat> this thing gets Flash Fire, which is really good. Make that neutral hit a immunity. Uh, white Smoke, which sucks. And Flame Body, which is also definitely not bad. I don't know which one you'd prefer. I guess maybe it depends yeah. on the team, but they're both pretty um, good for sure. And it learns Knock Off. Flash Fire as probably an better for sure. Probably overall better, yeah. It's consistent. Yeah. And then it makes your Flare Blitz stronger and shit. But this thing's got a decent attack stat, 115, and it's got pretty good bulk with 100 HP. And then 90 Special Defense is pretty good too. It just it has no speed at all. Base 65, yeah, 65 sucks. Percent. You look at this Pokemon and you think like Scullopede, it, it is not Scullopede, it's not even close to yeah. Scullopede. Um, and having a four times weakness to uh, to rock is really, really rough. Yeah, um, I know you can put heavy duty boots on it, but there's a lot of Pokemon um, that are either part rock type or they have, they're gonna have rock covered. Uh, so this is kind of it's kind of rough, but it does get Fire Lash, which was mm -hmm. uh, previously a um, Heatmore exclusive move. Mm -hmm. And what this move does is when you get hit with it, it lowers your defense. So this thing's going to be really, really hard to switch into. Yeah, I think so. I think Fire Lash is going to be a really common move. It also gets Lunge, which can lower their attack. So maybe like a kind of debuffing support type Pokemon. Of course, it also gets super yeah. powerful Flare Blitz, Leech Life Xs or um, Thunder Fang and Power Rip to hit, you know, water switch-ins. And then it gets Scald. I don't know why this gets Scald. <laughs> why do they keep getting Scald? I don't know. So this thing just randomly has Scald. Um, I mean, so I was just about to say, dude, Cola, Colossal or Colossal. I don't know why I called it that. Colossal. I'm Colossal. just calling him Colossal from now on. That thing's going to, I was going to say, Colossal. that thing is going to switch in on Center Scorch for free for its whole fucking life. And then I saw Scald yeah. and I was like, oh my God. You're not going to Scald a Colossal with this thing. It's not going to do any damage. <laughs> Yeah, probably not. Then... I mean, base 90 special attack, like if they run like um, uh, a uh, naive nature or, or some shit like that. Sure, sure. Wait, they're not running plus speed. What am I talking about? But, <laughs> but you, you know what I mean? Maybe like, I don't know. 
it, it I can definitely see this thing being a good it. sub. Um, either AV set, like an AV set would not be bad because yeah, it's got you know 90 special defense, but 100 HP is pretty good. Yeah, it can um, have so a, it can have 401 subs. Yeah, or that would be good. Subs. Or substitute. Yeah, substitute Will O Wisp and um, Fire Lash are very, very, very good. Mm -hmm. I think that I think that would be a good set for it. Right yeah, there. just keep lashing shit down. I think that could be cool. So we'll see where um, this thing ends up. I think it looks really cool. I love this thing's design. I think yeah, it looks it's awesome. Yeah, It also has a G move. I, I've been ne uh, neglecting G moves a little bit, but it has one. Um, Scent Inferno is what it's called. A fire type attack uh, traps the opponents in flames for four to five turns. So another trapping move. Um, I can see this being used for like uh, tox effects, like trapping a tox effects and doing nothing to it. <laughs> uh, I, don't, I don't know what else you would do. Yeah, you would. Uh, we... yeah, I don't know. Don't know. Yeah. You will wisp it. You trap it you and would... you make fun of it and say, haha, you can't switch out as he scalds you. Yeah, yeah it would, you would annoy Toxapex a little bit with it. That's, yeah. that's pretty much it. So, not the go to Toxapex right, check, but you know. <laughs> that well, is a sense of scorch. Yo, oh, wait, wait, wait. This thing does beat Ferrothorn. It well, beats Ferrothorn. I would certainly hope so. It is a fire type. Yeah, it, it does beat... That, that's what it's got going for it. All right, so, so automatically OU. <laughs> yes, automatically. Yeah. There's no question about it. Definitely not. All right, let's move on to the next one. All right, so the next one is going to be Grappalocked, and I think this thing has the potential to actually be broken. Like, potentially yeah, bannable broken. All because of before its signature move. Yeah. Before we get to why, yeah. Uh, let's well, let, before okay, we get to why, go, let's go, go over let's, the stats. Real quick. Yeah, let's talk about it. We'll, 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 we'll work our way into let's, the broken. Yeah, let's, we'll get there, we'll get there. But right. tell me about we'll these stats real quick. <laughs> Alright, this thing's got a decent bulk. It's got 80 HP, 90 defense, and uh, 80 special defense, which yeah. is nothing to scoff so at. Above average. So one, above average. Uh, yeah, 118 attack. Not bad. Good. Not bad. That's a good attack. Yeah, yeah. That's like, yeah, that's pretty good. 42 base speed, which is not great, but... You don't need to be fast when you have this broken move that this thing has. Yes. Uh, and, and the stats. And technician as an ability. Yes. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Technician um, or limber. So you can't be paralyzed. But, Technician's going to be better, probably. But yeah. yeah so sure. Octolock, man. This move. <laughs> this thing's insane. This move is dumb. You can, I put three exclamation points next to it. That's how dumb it is. So this move traps your opponent and lowers their defense and special defense by one stage every turn. And each right. turn, so they I get lowered move, again. <laughs> when I saw this move, I was like, oh, it just lowers it once. That's not a big deal. And then Hino was like, what are you talking about, yeah. dude? And uh, <laughs> I, I am very wrong because this thing is nuts. Um, and not only that, it doesn't actually specify when they can switch out, which means they might just be trapped forever. Dude, imagine trapping something that can't really touch you and then just power up punching again and again and again and again. Or, or even drain punch. And then, yeah, and then drain punch when you want to, like, get... Oh, actually, that's a good question. Yeah. Oh, does maybe it does get... Punch? It does get drain punch. Yeah, it does get drain punch. It gets okay, yeah. close so you combat, actually... superpower, and drain punch. The thing about that is, like, you can do a bulky set, and since you're lowering their defense, getting... It's kind of like strength slap, so you're going to be getting your mm -hmm. HP back more because you're, you're drain punching it. This thing is... That's nuts. That is a crazy ability for no reason. Also, maybe better than power punch on a set, like, that you run with bulk up, because... Now, like, their their defense, they're just passively getting lower each turn. And then yeah. by the time you, you pro by, probably by the time you've gotten two bulk ups and they have gotten two stat debuffs, you can just drain punch and one shot them and get healed to full, like, immediately. Um, this thing also gets taunt to prevent stuff from, like, whirlwinding it out, because whirlwind slash four is minus priority. It, yeah, I think everything still gets rest. I don't think, I don't uh, think not that's everything gets rest. Some right. broken Pokemon don't get rest. That's crazy. Well, this does get rest, so that is an option in case you're afraid of, like, Toxic or something. Dude, no, no, no. Okay, Octolock rest is going to be insane. <laughs> that's what I was like, saying. Yeah, exactly. You just keep resting until they fucking are at, like, minus six, minus six, and then... Until they just give up. They just... This thing's going to be so good on stall. It's going to be uh, amazing on stall. Yeah, this is like... going to be... This This thing might be a problem. <laughs> So I think <laughs> like, I think there's honestly a solid chance that this move gets banned, or if Smogon's not about the complex ban, they just ban the Pokemon because Octolock seems insane. And honestly, Smogon's always been like really bad, not really bad, but really like really anti-trapping. You know, Shadow Tag got banned right. immediately. Arena Trap got banned several times now, which made Do um, fucking Wobbuffet the most worthless Pokemon in existence. Doug Trio pretty 
pretty bad and there's no reason to run it over the Alolan now that Arena right. Trap was banned and Gothitel just also doesn't really exist. So trapping gets banned pretty often and this seems like the most broken trapping because it's trapping a plus another broken effect which is lowering your defenses right. so every you're, single you're guaranteed to take down a Pokemon. If this Pokemon can't one, if it can't like two hit KO uh, and it gets Octo locked, it's it's dead. Like <laughs> yeah, you're not switching, you're not going anywhere. It's not like um, it, but the thing about it too is it's not like Dreadnought's ability where both Pokemon are trapped. If if I need yeah. to switch out, I can switch out. You're just not allowed to. <laughs> yeah, that's so insane. That this thing is gonna be crazy. And um, yeah, other sets. I guess it could run other sets, but like, why would you? It gets Circle yeah, Throw exactly. if you need a Phaser, but like. I'd rather trap them with uh, me than send them out, you know? It's funny how Octolock and Circle Throw are complete opposites. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, but they, uh, it also, I mean, it gets, it's gets, it got good uh, AD potential. Like, you could just, mm -hmm. like, in the yeah. lower tiers, maybe, if, if Octolock does get banned. Yeah. Uh, you can throw an Assault Vest on this thing. Or even, like, a Taunt, Bulk Up, like, Drain Punch set would probably be pretty yeah, good. Yeah, something like, um, like how Girders run in the lower tiers. Yeah, exactly. So, not like just a... It's not a one-trick pony, um, but it should be. <laughs> yeah, like, if it's not banned, it so... will be, for sure. Yeah, yeah exactly. very OU. Not going to give a fuck about Pharopex. Like, <laughs> very OU. All right, cool. Nuts. I, I, this mon, if this thing's not banned by the time I start my draft league, this is my number one pick right now. I think this oh, thing's going to yeah. stay dumb as hell. In draft? Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, in, in draft, draft too. Thing. Like, huh. And look at the card. Liquidation, Stomping Tantrum, yeah. Ice Punch. Maybe it gets Earthquake and I just didn't bother looking for it because everything else it gets. Uh, it gets I don't think it does get Earthquake. I'm not seeing it. It gets Muddy Water uh, for some reason. It gets Close Combat. Alright, yeah, Close yeah, Combat. Um, yeah, no, this Oops, thing like... Too, just, in, just in case you need... Yeah, blast. just in case you didn't want to Close Combat with 118 attacks. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, this thing's <laughs> sick. This thing's really sick. This thing is so sick. Let's move on to the next Pokemon, but Octolock is really sick. <laughs> so the next Pokemon we have is Poltegeist, which is the most, like, half-assed Pokemon name pun I've heard in my life, but whatever. Yeah. It gets... Well, looking at its stats, this thing is meant for just... This thing's just a wall breaker. It could also be a really good Assault Vest user. I'm kind of getting, like, Gudra vibes from it. It's, like, a little slower than Gudra. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of a better um, Comfey, uh in terms of stats. Like, stats, I forget what yeah, yeah. Comfey is... Yeah, special attack is, but that's just kind of the vibe I'm getting with the HP and like the, um, the kind of how frail it is. Yeah. Oh, this is not a fire type. Uh, just a ghost. But this, no, 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 no fire type. But um, the big thing about this Pokemon is that it does get Shell Smash. Uh, yeah. Brings that ridiculous 134 special attack up to like insane numbers, and then also yeah. 70 base speed. It kind of remedies that, you if know, that slowness. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you're running just like, even if you're timid, um, your special attack's gonna be hitting like over um, over 700 and you're going to be also 520 speed which is like hella fast so, so shell smash is going to be insane on this it also has a really nice support move set also though it gets um yeah, ally switch which like is cool for uh cool for vgc it gets aromatherapy willowis pex it gets memento it gets strength sap this thing gets like a lot of really cool moves it's definitely going to be annoying because um just looking at it like aromatherapy even or if you want to do um like screen center uh plus boom it gets self-destruct yeah, yeah, so yeah. So like, and with Azelf not being in the game, there's not. I don't think there's another Pokemon that can set screens. And Unfortunately, it doesn't get Stealth Rock. That would make it really good. That would make it. Um, really if incredible. it did get Stealth Rock, it's also just a little but, slow. Uh, yeah, like, without any boosts. But still, like you have Memento as well, so maybe me Memento instead of um, so Self Destruct. It's mm -hmm. like yeah, it's true. got decent moves. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I like it. Could run a foul play set, maybe. I don't know why. And I even like if yeah. Set. That too, that too, but if, even if you're not um, running Shell Smash, which, I mean, I think you should, yeah, you that's can still throw a Scarf on this thing. Yeah, that's true. Uh, and it'll scarf hit really on it, hard. And it's just do damage. It could definitely be a sweeper. Yeah. And you could run Trick with it also, because it gets Trick. Yeah, so. exactly. I can see this coming in. And uh, being normal, like, just regular Ghost type without Pursuit is, is so good. Oh, yeah, that's oh that's huge in a meta. We're in a game where Pursuit doesn't exist. Yeah, this thing's going to be really hard to revenge kill, um, whether it's Scarf like, or Shell Smash. Wow, this, this thing, this thing will it's going to get destroyed yeah. by Bisharp. It's gonna get destroyed by Bishop. How? Um, because it doesn't have a fighting move. That's true. Well, it can Willow Wisp it. Yeah, it can Willow, and it's not getting pursued, in it, and it's not getting knocked. Not getting off, knocked off. They the took knock off away from Bisharp. Months. Why? It was Bisharp like just fell Bisharp down to end you, bro. Move. What are you doing, Game Freak? Why Bisharp? the hell did you take knock off? Dude, Bisharp <sighs> literally just fell down to end you. He fell down all the it stairs, bro. It doesn't make bro. any sense, dude. It, 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 it upsets me so bad, like. Luckily, we're going to get it back with Pokemon, so we'll definitely get that back in the meta. 
um, because they haven't removed it from the game. Like, Bishop Sharp's still... Um, it's just not a learned move anymore. Right. Is what it is, you have to, like, transfer Bishop over for it to get knockoff. As far as we know, or maybe it'll just say, nah, sorry, bro, you can't you can't make it in, you can't pass the border. Yeah, man. That's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's right. actually crazy. Well, we'll see what happens with that. But anyways, this Pokemon is going to be incredible. Absolutely. I think this is yeah. super OU Pokemon. It could also be, like, a neat uh, Trick Room Pokemon if you're on, like, a min speed type of set. Or actually, dude, I keep forgetting to mention this, the, the Trick Room item. I forget what it's called. But it may, the thing the item that makes oh, you slower yeah, yeah, in yeah. Trick Room, I could, this could be an excellent user of that for sure. Also. Yeah, because 70 base speed is kind of in the middle where it's not particularly fast, but it's not particularly slow mm -hmm. either. Um, so having that minus two speed would actually be pretty good uh, in, in Trick Room. What does Tea Time do again for VTC? Uh, nothing. Everything eats its berry. Oh, really? Yeah, so I don't think that's too good. Oh. You could have like some gimmicky thing with that, but I don't think that's going to be too good overall. Nah, I don't, I don't like that at all. Yeah. Okay, um, so yeah, kidding. that is the Poltegeist, and let's let me make sure I'm not missing anything. It doesn't look like I am. Uh, but yeah, let's move no. on to the next one. So next up, guys, we have uh, Hatterene. Hatterene, yeah, I think that's Hatterene. how you say that. I was pronouncing um, it wrong this whole time. Hatterene, okay. I was, uh... This Pokemon's cool. It, the, the only problem is if Life Dew isn't a good recovery move, it doesn't get its own sort of recovery, so it's not going to work like a Forges, which is what you kind of expect it to be. Um, 136 special attack, though, is nothing to scoff at. That is a strong Pokemon. Yeah, definitely. And, okay, <laughs> I definitely typed its special defense in incorrectly because it says 255, and it is definitely not that the same. <laughs> it's that not 255. Be, it is 103, which is respectable, which is still a very good special defense yeah. that... Um, this Pokemon's going to be a great Trick Room setter because its its special attack is so high. Um, it can actually fend for itself while setting up Trick Room. Yeah. Um, and it's uh, and it can set up Trick Room on like any special attacker too because its special defense yeah. is so good. It's like pretty solid on 57 HP, not great, yeah, not but, great but uh, it also has Magic Bounce too. Yeah, and Magic Bounce as an ability is super good for sure. I think it's um, way but, I mean, Healer doesn't exist and Anticipation is kind of meh. Yes, yeah, it's, it's not great at all. Uh, but it does have really, really, really good support moves um, and utility moves, Nuzzle being one of them. Yeah. Um, Caught Mine, Trick Room, like I said, is, is going to be probably its most common use, I think. Yeah, Trick Room uh, Caught Mine, that, I could see know. being crazy on this thing, actually. Yeah, well, the crappy thing about Trick Room is that like, you only have four turns, so I have to waste a turn Calm Minding, and then I don't have recovery, so yeah, but it's like, just kind of... The way people play around Trick Room, like they're always switching around it. Like If you just Calm Mind on yeah. Switch, like you didn't really waste True. a turn, because otherwise you were just getting minimal damage on something anyways. But now you like you got a boost, and now you can't switch around on me. Whatever's coming in is taking a shit ton of damage. That's very true. Uh, this thing also, I don't think we have it on here, has Mystical Fire as well, uh, so oh, yeah, it has a way to hit there. Um, oh, true, true. I didn't put it on because I like the same synopsis, but Ferrothorn. Unfortunately, it, it doesn't get um, it doesn't get uh, Moonblast. Unfortunately, I yeah, don't know why they wouldn't produce Pokemon Moonblast. Yeah, I guess because cool. its, its special attack is so high. But if you, if you look at Forges, Forges has a ridiculously high special attack too for a for a cleric and uh, base one twelve. Yeah, that's not bad at all for a cleric. Like that's really good. Yeah. Um, also, another interesting thing is this thing has 90 base attack, and it also gets Sword Stance. So maybe if you mm -hmm. want to just mix up your opponent, you can do that with like a Power Whip. Yeah, it gets, um, it gets Power Whip, it gets Play Rough, thank god. It gets uh, Why does this get Play Rough? Swing. Tapu Koko doesn't get freaking Play Rough. <laughs> right? The Pokemon yeah. company makes no sense. It gets Psycho Cut, so you can run like Psycho Cut, Play Rough, Sword Stance, um, Trick Room, maybe. Yeah. Uh, it, it gets like Shadow Claw. It's a fairy type Malamar. Well, there you go. Yeah, kind of. Without kinda. without contrary. <laughs> right, right, right. So not Malamar at all, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. But yeah, this thing, uh, I think it's yeah, cool. definitely an interesting Pokemon. It's one of those things that we're going to have to wait and watch the meta develop a little bit, because I don't think it's going to be used very much at first. Um, mm -hmm. Either that, or it's going to be it's going to be used in the wrong way. So maybe when it first gets released, it's going to have a cleric role. And maybe it doesn't do cleric all that well, but then once it drops to lower tiers, we find out that oh, it's actually a really good special sweeper. Or it, it's going to be an interesting Pokemon for sure. Mm. Those are I love seeing like the progression of Pokemon like that. Like Pokemon that kind of go through that are definitely really fun to watch. Also, like look at Coma O. Like yeah. Coma O definitely yeah, went Koma through the shit crazy. in Gen Seven. And then, like, uh, Ultra Sun and Moon came out, and they were like, wait a second. <laughs> this thing's way <laughs> Maybe too... Maybe this thing's yeah. a little too... Uh, con it wasn't even broken. It was just Well, whatever. We've talked about this a billion times. We don't need to go into this. We're yeah, talking yeah. about Hattern... What it, how do you pronounce it again? Hatterne? Hatterene, I think? Hatterene. 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 Why do I keep saying Hatterene? 
I'm gonna nickname uh, mine Hatterney, so I'm not wrong. Yeah, there you go. Uh, I think it's pre-evolution. This that was hatch from. Yeah, stupid. It, it, why are you <laughs> theming around hats? I'm sorry. It, Dude, hat it was about the time. They're, that's how you know they're running out of, out of ideas, man. <laughs> they've running out of ideas for like five generations, according to everybody. But yeah, that's true. I guess it's supposed to be like a witch. It's supposed to be like a witch. Mm -hmm. I respect it. It's psychic fairy, so that makes sense. If if a witch Pokemon was in the game, it, I would assume it would be psychic and probably fairy. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's Hatterene. It's it's we don't know. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. So it's, I, it definitely it's has a lot of potential, though. That's for sure. All right. So the next Pokemon we have is Grim Snarl. This Pokemon I think is actually going to be pretty fantastic. It's got great bulk, 95, 65 defense is like not amazing, but 95 HP is pretty good, and 75 special defense is like around average, I would yeah. say. Um, really good attack stat. Mm -hmm, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, a 120 base uh, attack is good. 95 special attack is like usable. It's usable. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, um, 60 I think this base... was the most hyped Pokemon of this generation too. Like, yeah, because of its, out, like, it's oh typing. Oh my god, look at him. Oh, yeah. He has things very um, dark, which is, is very sick. cool. Uh, it gets its own signature move in Spirit Break, which... So, refresh my memory on that. Uh, I don't know what base power it is, but it does do damage and it also lowers your opponent's defense or special uh, defense. I know it's special attack actually. <laughs> oh, okay, I was totally um, off. But... Which is interesting. That would be a cool like, uh, like a VGC kind of um, mix up, I guess. Uh, yeah. it, but it, it's a fairy type move too. It'll depend on so how much like... how much damage it does, how much what its base power is. Because I, I was thinking, yeah, that's, I remember this being special attack now. Because I was thinking this could be cool to have with a bulk up set as you're raising your um, attack and defense, you're lowering their special attack. So it's you're you know you're not taking as much from special attacks now. So I thought that could be like so a pretty cool is... little combo to do. This is a um, physical 75 base power. Uh... Fairy type okay. move. So, yeah, that's not too it, bad. The, the important thing too is it doesn't miss. It's not play rough. So, like, yeah. you don't have to worry if you don't. I don't know. 90 accuracy is is good, but uh, but you're gonna miss. How many times have you missed a play rough? Yeah, exactly. Um, it's rough, but it also gets another move called False Surrender. Um, oh, that's False right, Surrender yeah. never misses. It is 80 base power as well, mm -hmm. um, and that's a dog type move that never misses. So it's actually like it's got some unique moves for sure. Yeah, I also got access to Darkest Lariat, which is pretty cool. Um, gets Power Punch and Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch is going to help it uh, with that low speed stab Sucker Punch. It uh, gets Fighting Coverage, which I don't even think it needs to be honest, because it because it's Stab Fairy anyways. Um, so yeah. you're not really worried about. I guess you kind of want to hit Steel type, so that makes sense. Um, this one all... reminds me a lot of um, uh, what's it called? Stat wise, it reminds me a lot of. Um... Why am I drawing a blank all of a sudden? Zoroark. It reminds me a lot of Zoroark, uh, where it's kind of like it can be a mixed attacker. Um, I mean, it's special attack is a lot attack. higher, isn't it? Well, it is, but this thing also, it doesn't get Sword Stance, but it gets it gets Nasty Blow. Um, so yeah, it can yeah. actually oh, yeah. use, use Proton here. Like, this gets a lot of good special attacks as well, or a special move pull too. That's what I'm saying, is, is it kind of like a... Kind of like Zoroark, you can you can run it both ways, but it, it favors one side. Yeah, absolutely. It also gets access to Fake Out, which is always good for VGC. It gets Taunt, which, I mean, it Taunt will be useful against uh, against like uh, wall Pokemon walls because you'll at least be faster than walls, even though 60 base speed's not that much. Um, facade, if you're like not trying to get burned um, and run yeah. the bulk upset. It's, it's good. Definitely decent. You can tell they wanted this Pokemon to be usable in VGC, yeah. so they gave it a good utility move. Yeah, they just um, gave this thing But so unfortunately, much. they didn't give it Sword Stance. It doesn't have a boosting, mm. it doesn't have bulk up or Sword Stance, unfortunately. So no, it does have bulk up. Your... It's got bulk up. Oh, it does have bulk Oh, okay, okay. I didn't... Okay, so bulk up is actually good. Never mind. Yeah. I uh, retract my statement. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, yeah, no, I think I think this thing will be great. It gets Hammer Arm, too, if you want to run that, because you don't really care about your speed yeah. that much. It gets Dual no, Screens. Yeah, yeah, it's a it's an overall like a solid Pokemon. Plus, Sucker Punch is just great to have in the back, especially when it's stabbed. Yeah, um, oh, especially when it's stabbed, you know, definitely. Yeah, not being a uh, particularly fast Pokemon, and then not having fast fairy types like Top of Popo around, um, Sucker Punch is just going to be super good. Mm -hmm, definitely. Cool. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. All right, so the next one we have is a fan favorite. Um, like right off the bat, even though the game's not out yet, but we have Obstagoon, and this thing looks like it could be potentially very deadly. It has three fantastic abilities with the moves to utilize them as well. It gets Reckless, Guts, and Defiance. Um, and... All three of those abilities, are, they, like, it, Reckless it doesn't really use all that much because it only has double it. 
for it, but double edges are ridiculously strong already. Yeah, that's like all um, it needs for it though, is just reckless double edges yeah. gonna shit on things. Like what's switching, exactly. if you're not immune, um, what's what's switching in on a choice band reckless double edge from this thing besides Ferrothorn? Yeah, yep, yeah, that's where I was going with that. <laughs> um, but not just that, uh, Guts is a, a phenomenal ability because it has a facade stab. Yeah. Um, which is great. And, and we were just talking about how its signature move obstructs. Uh, it's like King Shield, where it's a protect and it does a status debuff, but it is actually defense. So it gives you a yeah. minus two if you try to U turn on this Pokemon, uh, which I can definitely see happening. So I imagine. Does it get Sucker Punch? Uh, it does, does not. not get Sucker Punch. Oh, that's unfortunate. I was going to say, because if you try to U turn and then you get Sucker Punch the turn afterwards. And minus two. Yeah, that would suck. And Defiant yeah. is cool, so like it can't be intimidated. Um, it doesn't really care about Sticky Web because it's already slow and now it's going to get an attack boost. So Defiant's definitely right, really nice in this as well. On it. <laughs> yeah, you can't defog on it or get a plus two. Yeah, but, though, you know, Defiant's the same as it's always been. Um, it gets Knockoff, yeah. which is amazing. It gets Parting Shot, which is really cool too. Um, like we said, I was it gets... just thinking about it too. Um, mm -hmm. it, so I don't mean to cut you off, but Knockoff, Switcheroo, and Trick are buffed heavily in this generation because there's no Z move. Yep, yeah, no Z moves and no Mega Stones. So there are a lot of. Uh, you can knock off like every item, you get actually. A, you get guaranteed trick on every single Pokemon. Yeah, so those those moves are really. I knew knockoff was going to be good, but I didn't. I totally forgot about trick and switcheroo. This thing gets both trick and switcheroo. I don't know why, but I'm going to run a set with both of them, <laughs> and you can't stop me. Um, and I want to use both of them also. To yeah. Trick you up. Uh, this thing also but right. I, this thing also gets low kick slash close combat for something like Tyranitar. Gets gunk shot for the fairies. It's, it's really good on its typing with this move set. Like, yeah, uh, yeah. They gave us a nice move. Like, phenomenal for this Pokemon. Mm -hmm, absolutely. Um, it also gets bulk up too, and it has really yep. decent bulk already. Bulk up and home. Um. So, yeah. It uh. Yeah. That's a, this is a cool Pokemon. I think. Um. The obstruct mind games are going to be very annoying. Yeah, definitely. Um, as long as you're faster than it, though, it won't be as annoying as, like, Aegislash was, yeah. though. So I don't think it'll be bannable. You know what I mean? So it's 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 definitely... This thing's as but fast the problem as is you, it, it's, it's fast as Kieran Black. So it's, it's Black, like not yeah, super... Yeah, yeah. But it's faster than certain things. Um, I can see it definitely being a check to a lot of the physical attackers in the tier. Um, and Aegislash can't hurt it, really. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> this this might be the the answer to Age Slash that uh. That uh it's, not, it's, it's not. It's <laughs> not. <laughs> but definitely Age a cool Slash Pokemon. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. No, I like this thing a lot for sure. Um, so, it gets decent. I know this sounds silly, but it gets Thunderbolt, Ice Beam, like. I see. It gets, uh, it gets decent special moves. Surf yeah, for some reason. Too. Surf, Blizzard, um, Hydro Pump. Yeah. Its special attack stat is not good. It's no. not good. So never mind. Don't even. It gets I Thunder Wave, was, uh, which is funny. <laughs> It's a normal type, so it, uh, it usually gets, you know, those yeah. kind of moves like that. Yeah. Um, overall, I can definitely... Yeah, it, it's going to be a good Pokemon. I agree. All right, let's move on to the yeah, next one. Awesome. Which, uh, this Pokemon kind of makes me angry just because... Why do we need a Meowth Evolution? I don't know. We're not going to uh, settle on that. <laughs> but um, the name, it, though, Perserker. Yeah, Perserker. That's pretty neat, though, I guess. But uh, we have another Tough Claws Pokemon, and as we all know, Tough Claws is a phenomenal ability and this thing has 110 base attack which is great and then also tough claws boosted so pretty much anything even if it's not stab is it's uh, gonna be unfortunately really hard, it does yeah, yeah uh, it doesn't have good speed though it does have 50 base speed um, and then it's uh, its defenses are kind of something to be desired it has 70 base HP with 100 defense which is good but a uh, 60 special defense which is not great for a steel type we will say it's it's um unique ability steely spirit kind of useless it's 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 meant for a vgc but it says yeah, it's, it's a little more than <laughs> oh no it's only its partner uh, steel moves though it's not even its own steel yeah moves no stronger. it's not even its own steel moves. yeah it literally um, can only so, use the vgc so its partner steel moves get stronger so like okay <laughs> cool. no idea what they were thinking honestly uh but that is nothing that that doesn't matter because it has tough claws and it has a bunch of physical moves that make contact. Yeah, and um, sword stance. Honestly, this might be the this might be the most physical contact moves I've seen on a on a tough claws but uh, maybe I'm underestimating Charizard X. Um, mm -hmm, true. But I mean flareless uh, dragon claw, that's all you need. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. But just the sheer number of fake out, uh great. Um, with Tough Claws boost, uh, U-turn, great with Tough Claws boost. So, like, <laughs> just those two moves by themselves are, are awesome. Um, on top of having Sword Stance to boost that already pretty good uh, attack stat and make it phenomenal. Yeah, and it has really good coverage, too. It has close combat to hit other Steel types. It has Gunk Shot to hit 
um, or other steel types. It has, um, has close combat hit other steel types. I, for some reason, just thought this was a normal type, or I, um, what was I, th I thought this was a fighting type, so I was like, it needs gunk shots for fairies, but either way, <laughs> gunk shots cool to have, right? It'll hit something, probably. Yeah. But no, yeah, no, just I, having the tough claws boost on it, close combat, play rough, um, foul play makes contact too, like, that also does get a tough claws boost. Um, stab Iron Head, um, it can run Taunt, uh, again, Seed Bomb. Seed bomb. Does Seed Bomb make contact? Yeah, yeah, it does. Uh, it does. No, it doesn't. Oh, it doesn't? Uh, I thought it did. Uh, look, I don't know. Good question. Um, but it gets Play Rough to hit Dark Types, I guess. I don't know. I mean, just, you're gonna have Iron Head slash Iron Tail, and then just things to hit, I guess, Fire Types and other Steel Types, and Water Types that resist it. Or you're just gonna U-Turn out on them, because that's what U-Turn <laughs> is there for, like, all the time. Uh, I don't know if Seed Bomb makes contact. I don't really it might not. That. I might be wrong. But Doesn't overall, uh, this Pokemon, it's going to be... I don't know. It's going to be It's going to be solid. It's not going to be great. I don't think it'll be OE uh, by any means. But in the lower tiers, it's definitely going to... Like, this Pokemon is going to be extremely hard to... The Switch on, yeah. Definitely. So. Um, head, and then like... Yeah, it's, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's, it, it's, it's the most you can expect from a Persian. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Alright, let's move on. Oh, actually, move speaking move. of that, it's probably the best. It's probably the best uh, Meowth evolution, maybe. Uh, I think uh, Alolan Persian is pretty good. I don't know. I actually think Alolan Persian has had a lot of, of its speed. Only dude. because of Parting Shot, though. Well, Parting Shot, it's hella fast, and it has um, Fur Coat. Eh. Those are all really good things. It's base one fifteen. Eh. Bruh, it's so hard to kill. That yeah. thing had some really good usage in VGC. <laughs> you just like ran taunt, foul okay. play, parting you, shot, like that shit was good. Yeah, I'll give you that much. It actually did have good VGC usage, but... Yeah. Um, and it's alright. <laughs> We're moving on. <laughs> alright, yeah, moving on. So next up we have Cursola, which is what happens when you have Toxapex infected waters with coral around them. <laughs> um, <laughs> That's, I'm, I'm yeah, positive that's, that's what they aim for. That's exactly what they aim for, too. But anyways, so this thing, <laughs> it gets weak armor, which, like, probably not going to have usage because it's base... Not great, yeah. Ba yeah, base 30 speed. But um, Perish Body is really cool. It's, if this thing gets attacked, basically, like, the Perish Song effect activates on both Pokemon, not just your opponent. That would be right. really broken. But, oh yeah, basically, God, the, the, Perish, the Perish Body, so, the Perish Song effect activates on touch. It's important to notice that it... Uh, it's only direct contact moves, so it's like yeah. first body, but it's a guaranteed, uh, it's a guaranteed proc, I believe. Yes. Instead That's of being just a chance. Uh, this thing also obviously is like built to be really good on Trick Room. It's got base 145. It's got way too much special attack. Modest, it's hitting yeah, 427, it's and then speed. It's really slow. It's good. It's gonna underspeed a lot of things. Um, sh stab Shadow Ball, you know, that's the go-to in Shadow Ball. I mean, Ghost has always just been such a great offensive typing. Um, yeah. It gets Hydro Pump, Surf, good. Scald. It gets really good coverage, actually. Psychic, Earth yes. Power, Power Gem, Scald, Psychic. It gets Giga Drain. It can run will o Pex. It can run, like, a set like Calm Mind or Iron Defense type thing. So, like, I was thinking, like, you remember the, um, the, um, the Reuniclus set with, um, What's it called? Oh yeah, acid the armor. Acid armor. Yeah, it, I was thinking it yeah, could be like an acid armor rune for the set, but then I realized yeah, if cool. this thing gets touched, Parish Song comes up. So like you can't really stay in long enough to stay set up for. But yeah, like, honestly, it, it kind of sucks though because uh, like let's say you come in on a U turn, like they automatically get to switch out. It's not like your Parish mm -hmm. body's activating after the U turn happens. Right. Um. But so you would want to say, okay, I'm the I'm the boosting set, so maybe I'll run weak armor. But that also sucks because you're right. losing your defense. Exactly. Yeah, and uh, it already has like pretty subpar defense with base 50. Uh, it's got 50, which is like super bad. I think, honestly, the way I think this thing will definitely be run... Alright, so in OU and VGC, or just singles in VGC, it'll definitely be a trick from Pokemon, like, for free. And then... This Pokemon's... Okay, hear me out real quick. In VGC. Mm -hmm. So, uh... I can see Assault Vest also. Are there any scrappy Pokemon left with Fake Out? Because I'm imagining your opponent only has two Pokemon left, you have three, you Scrappy Fake Out your Cursula, Perish Body activates... Oh my god. And now everything on the field dies. That's so funny. But, um, I could see something like I, that. I don't think... Happens, actually, I, no, not, now that I looked at it, it's only the Pokemon that hits it. So, yeah, never mind. So that wouldn't work. But that would be absolutely What do you insane. mean it's only the Pokemon that hits it? So only the Pokemon that makes contact gets the Parish Body effect. No, Parish Song just uh, activates for everything on the field. 
doesn't it? No, so uh, it says when hit by a move that makes direct contact, the Pokemon and the attacker will faint after three turns. Oh, wow, that's crazy. So, yeah, I, huh. yeah, I was thinking of it like Parish Song, but it's, it's, it's not Parish Okay, Song, so, so that's that's good to know, though. That is a little different from Parish Song. But yeah, I think this is honestly... In VGC, I could see Assault Vest because it has really good special defense also. Um, and it gets Mirror Coat, too, which could be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, yeah in, in singles, it's just throw choice specs on it, get it in Trick Room, click buttons. That's yeah. just there's, press there's shadow on everything. It's, this is going to fit on Trick Room extremely well. Like it's it, yeah. Dude, this Shadow Ball is going to be so hard to switch into from a spec set. Yeah, exactly. Because that, like, again, Shadow Ball is already such a hard typing to switch into. Or Ghost is such a hard typing. And then it also... <laughs> I know it sounds stupid, but it gets Whirlpool, and so like this thing can trap something. It can trap something and, and murder it, which mm -hmm. I actually think is pretty. It's pretty um, funny. With yeah, that, it like prevents uh, people from switching around to stall out your trick rooms. So that is kind of cool, actually. Yeah. Well, uh, also Whirlpool Parish Song. <laughs> oh yeah, this could uh, just be a trapper. I wonder if yeah. so. Let's say you Parish Song, and then something makes contact with you. Does it like? It, it probably wouldn't reset the Parish Song. It would just have like nah, no effect, right? Be, yeah. That would be lame. Oh, yeah. that would be. Super um, and then lastly, uh, but it can also get strength tap too. But yeah. I don't know if you have strength tap. I think I put this on here, didn't I? No, I thought I did. Uh, it gets like a pretty decent support move pool. Cool. I guess I didn't put it on my notepad, but um, where's strength tap? I thought I because I thought I saw it also. Unless I'm looking at regular, yeah, no, personally, yeah, it gets uh, it gets it as a level up move. Uh, oh level yeah, there 35. it is. Yeah, cool. So it gets strength tap. It gets stealth rock too, which is pretty funny. Um. Will-O-Wisp, Icy Wind and VGC is going to be really good too, because uh, speed control is always nice. And that would be unlike the Assault Vest set, probably. So, I think actually, uh, Cursed Parish Trapping, or I mean, I'm sorry, uh, Parish Trapping with it, this is going to be really good. Uh, just thinking about with Whirlpool, like, you're going to trap, I don't know, uh, let's just use Pex, for example, if it's not running Shed Shell, it, 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 it knocks you off. You're at that point. You can strength tap. But I know you're not going to get a lot back, but you're going to get enough to not die. Yeah. And then you're going to be able to parish trap. That's right. Uh, yeah. Toxic X. Parish song like, whirlpool. Cool. Parish song whirlpool strength tap. Definitely looking like, a, and then protect probably would, is definitely looking yeah. like a, a really good option too. So okay, so two things this Pokemon can do. Pretty cool, and um, it can do that to both Toxic X and, Par and Parathorn. So oh, that's an OU Pokemon right there. Sort of worth noting too is that its physical move pool is good. Like for some reason, like it has a really good yeah. physical move. Yeah, that's Earth true. And it's its attack is base uh, nine and D five. That's like that's average, you know. It gets rock yeah, slide, it gets icicle spear, icicle like, spear. It get, yeah. Does it, it gets shadow claw huh. too? Stab shadow claw, which is good. Yeah, that, it's it it definitely not, uh, not to be looked over. Plus rock tomb, so like you can have you know the speed lowering. Mm -hmm. um, this is a cool Pokemon. Definitely, I think her solo would be pretty good. All right, so the next one we have is Surfetched. Farfetched finally got an evolution, and it's. I don't think it's gonna be too bad to be honest. It's got base no, okay. 135 was... attack, which is really good. Its item gives it a uh, crit boost, but keep in mind you don't have to hold the leak. Like you could just give it a life form too if you wanted. Um, right. Yeah. You could run like 135 attack is so good. It's really good. You can run like leak focus energy for like that type of set, um, and just always crit them. Um, for VGC, oh, you're gets... gonna be not fast enough for that really, but. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they future. changed. Uh, they changed steadfast, by the way. Oh, did they? It's not just um, no flinch anymore. Yeah, no, it doesn't have anything to do with flinching. It's uh Oh no, I'm thinking of. Am I thinking of inner focus? I do not. I think know. it's either steadfast or inner focus. One of those two. Um, you just don't get stat drops anymore. Oh, interesting. And I, I believe it's inner focus actually. Okay, good to know though. But never mind. Um, its um, signature move, Meteor Assault, is basically fighting Giga Impact. Throw Hyper Beam, but I definitely meant Giga Impact. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's an interesting move. It's, it's really strong. 135 base attack is it's gonna nuke something, which yeah. is funny because it's a Meteor. And if you're um, running Scrappy, there's no immunity. Right, no immunity to it. It's gonna hit Ferrothorn on Prey. Yeah. Uh, but also this thing... It's going to be a great Assault Vest user. Um, 62 HP with 82 uh, special defense is, is pretty solid. Um, so I think uh, Assault Vest is going to tip it over the edge of being bulky. Uh, to where you can kind of just come out, you can click a really, really strong, uh, like Brave Bird or, you close know, you combat. can click knock off. Or, yeah, close combat for... for uh, it's, it's going to hit it hard. It, it's, it's not going to be bad. And it gets first impression also. So uh, Assault Vest's first impression, phenomenal. That's like yeah, super good. Yeah, good priority. It could be a defogger too. It doesn't get roost. That's like the only really annoying part. Yeah. Um, if it did get roost, it would be a much 
better, but yeah. I, I don't think it's going to be bad at all. Um, this Pokemon would benefit a lot from U-Turn, but it, it, I guess, I don't know, I guess it doesn't really need it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. I agree with that for sure. But yeah, it's it's really just, it needs to get carried by that 135 base attack for it to like do stuff. But Scrappy's a good ability for it. It's always a good ability on fighting types. And, it, it, and they gave it close combat, thank God. Tiers, mm -hmm. looking, at, uh, looking at it, it's, it's not going to be allowed in lower tiers, I don't think. I think this is going to be a BL Pokemon. It's going to be like Diggersby. Uh, oh, yeah. Where it's going to be, it's just going to be extremely strong, and it's like when it drops down, it may, maybe it's not going to be. Yeah, it's not going to be OU, I don't think, but I think it might be too strong for you, honestly. That attack sounds ridiculous. True. We'll see. But yeah, that could be cool. If if anything, maybe it's like its speed will just stop it from being that crazy. Yeah, that, that's the only thing that I can think. If this thing got agility, that would be crazy. This could double dance. That yeah, would be insane. It would definitely. Be. But uh, I mean, overall, it's it's. It's good. It's a definitely a good evolution for Farfetch. It's kind of what it needed. Yeah. Um, I like it. I like Congrats, Farfetch, finally getting something useful. <laughs>